Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. In this video, I wanna talk about blood types in under two minutes. So, your red blood cells, like I've drawn up here, they have certain proteins on their surface that we term antigens. Now, some red blood cells are going to have A, antigens on their surface. Some are gonna have B, antigens on their surface. Some red blood cells have both A and B antigens on their surface. And some red blood cells don't have any antigens on their surface. Now, I've drawn them up as flags because I like to think of Game of Thrones. Now, if you have flag A, you are of house A, B, house B, A, B, A, B. Now, if you are of house A, the army that you have, they're going to be trained to fight everyone that's not A, right? They're going to be trained to fight every other flag. Now, the only other flag here is B. So that means if you are of blood type A, you have antibodies or an army that will find and attack B blood type. So you can't receive any B blood if you are of A blood. Same thing happens if you are of type B. Your army is going to be trained to attack house A. So you can't receive any A blood if you're type B. If you're type AB, well, your army isn't going to be trained against anyone because the only other flags that are available are A and B and you have them. So you don't have any antibodies. So you can receive all blood A and B if you are this one blood type O. Well, you don't have any flags. So that means you're trained to attack B and you're trained to attack A. So you can't receive any blood but your own. Now, because there's no flags here, these guys here can't recognize O blood. So A, B and AB can receive O blood. So it's known as the universal donor, but O blood can't receive anybody else's blood. And this is blood types. When we look at rhesus factors, that's just another flag.